position tracking is basically means a google serp tracker or google rank tracker where it means or it simply means that you are going to be monitoring certain keywords which you are targeting on where they are ranking on google search engine at what position they are ranking what are the changes happening what how your competitors are performing all this data is going to come through this particular model first i'm going to click on setup and when I click on that, it will pop up a wizard kind of way. This will be the similar for all the different models. Basically, it will give ask us more details on how we want to set up this campaign. The first is going to be like what kind of domain you want to um, track. For example, if you're brand new, you don't have any complex requirement. Most of you will be just taking as root domain. And that is a good one because similar to my website where I want to track all the pages which is uh, coming from my root domain directly. I don't have any subdomain or something like that. I have a root domain. I want to track all the website ranking. Most of you will have this as a requirement. But in case if you are having an additional requirement like, no, I don't want the root domain to be tracked. I want to have this particular subdomain to be tracked. You can select that or you want to have been track only this particular web page i don't care about other web pages i don't care about website i only care about this web page you can obviously choose that or a subfolder within you something like my blog uh, sorry digital marketing mind.com slash blog i want to only see any urls within that particular permalink so i can choose that in this case i recommend you to keep it as root for most of you uh, website of owners and you have only two different options when a summarize either you can track on google or baidu depending on your need they do not have bing support uh, as well and also you can choose the device here you basically say when tracking for ranking which device you want to track the ranking from whether do you want to be desktop mobile tablet this you can also do a custom rank tracking i will show you within the campaign based on different uh, devices but this just to give a starting point for SMrush. if you notice that most of your visitors or your target audiences visiting your website through mobile then obviously it makes sense to track their rank tracking also from mobile as a core one but if you're just not sure or just to understand just keep desktop or mobile whichever one is fine depending on your need actually most of the websites will not care that they are ranking worldwide for certain keywords because they are target markets could be a one country or a state or even a city in case it's a local business website so you, i want to focus ra my ranking towards that particular geographical location i can obviously choose that from here let me type something so i can show you for example i am putting new as a word and it automatically brings up country data, city data, state data. So depending on my need, I can track for a whole country or a state or a city depending on my need. In this case, I'm just going to leave it as United States for an example. Uh, let me load it up and I can choose the language depending on my need as well. For example, these are options available for United States depending on the country, this might change. And in case if it's a local based business, since Google provide Google business profile, Google business listing, they will have some sort of Google map pack for certain keywords where you will see some sort of map and you will see Google businesses within Google uh, search results. In case you do have one of Google business profile, you can obviously give the name for your Google business. It will identify and you can include that into the rank tracking settings also. Since in this case, it's just a digital marketing blog. It's not a business, local business. I do not have a digital uh, GMB profile. So I'm going to skip this one. So the next step is going to be the keyword. We have added the URL or the scope we have added the device we want to target we have added the uh, uh, regional preference now we actually want to include what are the keywords we want to track here also this is just to get started on this campaign obviously you can add more keywords when the campaign is created also so if you're writing a brand new blog article you might have a new keyword you want to track you can come back to this project and add more keywords as well but this is just for starting point where they have couple of different methods to bring keywords into the 
uh, project. Basically, the manual is basically in case if you already know what are the keywords you want to target, you can obviously include something like SEO tutorial. I know I'm going after that keyword. I, if I can spell it correctly, uh, SEO tutorial, maybe uh, digital marketing uh, blog or something like that, whatever the keyword can be. And you can just add the project. And also, if you want to tag the keyword like you want to group the keywords based on different criteria depending on your need you can do that by following the art tip and they are filter guidelines and also if i go into campaign basically what it means is in case if i have a separate campaign within my smrush where they that campaign has all the keywords list or something like that i can bring that data from that particular campaign into this project as well smrush is where i use smrush itself to find keywords for me. I do not recommend this approach because when you are tracking keyword data or SERP data, uh, Google ranking tracking, you just don't want to go out and track every single keyword because that's not efficient way. You need to identify what are your focus keyword, what are your target keywords, and obviously track only those keywords so you can keep your rank tracking focus on. So my suggested way is to go through SMrush keyword tools, organic tools, identify what are your main keywords and bring those keywords into the play or any external means also like any additional third party tool or something like that. But in case if you want to bring from SMrush, you can have several different options. You can from their domain report, domain report adverts for PPC or ad keywords phrase report and phrase reported full for example i'm going to click on domain report i can choose my domain and how many keywords do i want to bring in from this report as i can say go up to 200 in this case just for example i'm going to click on 10 you can see it automatically brings in 10 different keywords which i'm ranking so i can get a more idea on it in this case just for example i don't recommend it i'm going to add those keywords without checking any of these keywords additionally and add it to my tracking profile and there's another option as well which is google analytic like i'm not going to show it right now but basically the concept is in case if you have a Google Analytic profile for your website, you can obviously connect your profiles to Google Analytic and it will show you all the keywords which Google Analytic shows within their dashboard. So it can bring those data into this. Here also it's not going to be fully accurate because Google Analytics don't, won't show most of the keyword data. So you might end up finding some of the hidden gems or hidden potentials or it might be a, just a junk data for you. So depending on each of you guys personal Google Analytics profile, the data will be different. So these are the options available. You can also import it from file. You can see it can be either text, CSV up to 10 MB. So if you have a huge list, you can import it directly from the file. For this sake, I'm just going to leave it at this 12 keywords. It shows 12 keyword, like what is my total limit and how many I'm tracking currently now. And in case if I want to receive weekly updates for this tracking position, I can do that as well. For example, I don't have time to come to every week to check into SMrush on what is the progress like. Like I just want to get a simple update email every month, every week. I can turn this option. I'm not going to do that. Just click on start tracking. That's it. Now I have set up my position tracking. It will take some time depending on how many keywords you have entered into this column i'm going to go back uh, so i can show you it will take some time you can see it's gathering keyword data right now